Welcome back to Timberview Middle School on Monday, May 16th. I'm Nathan. And I'm Elizabeth. Welcome back. And now it's time for the pledge. Please stand. Whoa, we, we have breaking news. I'm having a hard time hearing everything in my earpiece, but this is big, so now we cut to announcement about our choir. That is going to be awesome. Don't miss it. Powder Puff Football. We will have a meeting Tuesday morning in the library. If you come, you are in. If not, you're out. We will come up with practice at times and other fun stuff. Attention all TMS 8th graders. Es tiempo, es easy. It's time for the end of our year celebration, Hakapalooza. There'll be music, food, dancing, prizes, and fun. This parent-sponsored event is being held on Thursday, May 26, from 5 to 7 p.m. in the TMS cafeteria. Admission wristbands are $5 and will be on sale May 16th through, uh, through the 20th during lunch. You must have a permission slip paper uh, prior to purchase. Permission slips are available at the library. We hope to see you there as we say goodbye to middle school. Proceeds from this event will go towards a class, a class gift to the school. Next Monday, May 23rd, we will be hosting the third annual Hollywood Hawk Night following the PTA meeting in the TMS cafeteria. If you made any movies this year and want them to be seen by a live audience, come see Mr. Simpson as soon as possible. We will sell concessions and watch films made by TMS students, including some that, we have, that have won awards. Come check it out, guys. It's always a blast. All library books are due today. Also, we have a buy one, get one free book fair this week in the library. Attention eighth grade students. TCHS Fish Camp registration is open. All registration is done online and information has been emailed to your parents. Timber Creek offers a full day fish camp program for students to become familiar with many aspects of the school. Falcon Fish Camp will include guest speakers, campus tours, pep rally, organization fair, and a scavenger hunt with Timber Creek High School prizes, and much more. We will be including a Timber Creek High School Fish Camp t-shirt with the price of enrollment. If you have any questions, please stop by the counseling office. Tennis Club will meet today, after school, at the tennis courts. Tennis Club is open to grades 6 through 8. And always remember, Tennis Club, rackets are included. Also, 8th graders, if you want to try it for the Timber Creek High School tennis team, their tryouts are this week. 
On Monday and Tuesdays, the boys have tryouts from 4.30 to 6. Wednesday and Thursday, the girls have tryouts from 4.30 to 6. All practices will be held at the Timber Creek High School. Students should bring a racket, sunscreen, and water. Athletes can arrive early to warm up. Now a word from Coach Ketchum. Hello students. I realize it's May. Your teachers are tired. You're tired. Let's not end this year on a bad note. So, for the love of everything, just be nice to each other. You have four more weeks. Be nice. It's not a hard concept. It's six letters. Be nice. So, as we roll through the last four weeks of school, follow these two simple words. Be nice. Back to you, Nathan and Elizabeth. Hey, all current sixth graders. Students entering seventh grade will need to have a shot, uh, current shot record on file in the nurse's office. If you're unsure if your record is current, have your parent check with Nurse Jane. Letters have been sent home with the students to inform parents on whether your record is up to date. Attention all sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. The athletics registration for the 2016-17 school year is now available online on the KSD Athletics webpage. With that said, let us make this clear. You need a physical to participate. The movie club meets on Mondays and Tuesdays after school until 4.30, and the Fellowship of the Christian Students meets every Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. They meet in room I-124, Miss Lopez's room. Due to testing, no reptile club this week, and because Mrs. Schick has curriculum writing the week after that, so the next reptile club meeting will be on Wednesday, May 25th. Our latest and last play of 2016 is Miss Nelson is Missing, and it goes up on May 19th and 21st. Tickets are $5 at the door, and you do not want to miss the show. Now we look at what else is going on here at TMS and around the world. It's been one week since you looked at me. Cocked your head to the side and said I'm angry. Five days since you laughed at me. Saying get back together and come back and see me. Three days in the living room. I realize it's all my fault, but couldn't tell you yesterday. Forgiven me, but it'll still be two days till I say I'm sorry. Hold it now, I'll watch the hood wink. Cause I make you stop think. You'll think you're looking at Aquaman. I summon fish to the dish, although I like the shallow sweets. I like the sushi, cause it's never touch a frying pan. Hot like wasabi when I bust rhymes. Speak like me and mimes, because I'm all about value. Bird campers got the mad hits. You try to match wits, you try to hold me by the bus through. You're gonna make a break and take a pick. I like a sink and they can shake. I like vanilla, it's the finest of the flavors. Gonna see the jokers and you'll know the vertigo is gonna go, cause it's so dangerous. You'll have to sign a waiver. Can I help it if I think you're funny when you're mad? Try and hide it to smile, though I feel bad. This musical has taken Broadway by storm, and its songs have sparked a new interest for students to learn about the American Revolution. Arielle Hickson hit the theater to find out more. The anticipation was building. I literally want to die. Like, I am just so overwhelmed and thrilled with excitement to be at this play. Lines stretched around the block. I feel really excited. I really want to see this show. All to see the hottest musical on Broadway. Okay, now who's excited for Hamilton? <laughs> but this performance was special, mainly because of the unique audience, filled with teens and their teachers. Today kicks off the Hamilton Education Initiative, where 20,000 New York City students will get to see Hamilton on Broadway. Now, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get today's younger generation into the theater. Hamilton's creator, Lin-Manuel Miranda, teamed up with the New York City Department of Education, the Rockefeller Foundation, and the Gilder Lehrman Institute to create a Hamilton-based curriculum for students. With this unique classroom to theater experience, students learn about one of our founding fathers, Alexander Hamilton, that guy on the $10 bill who helped write the Constitution and establish America's financial system after the American Revolution. Talk to me about this initiative. Why is it important for New York City schools? Well, listen, uh, theater changed my life because I was lucky enough to be exposed to it at a very young age. I saw Les Miserables when I was seven years old and cut to a few decades later, and we have Hamilton. It exists because I saw Les Mis when I was seven years old. <laughs> um, and, and this initiative to uh, bring 20,000 uh, 11th graders to see the show is really, it, it's both unprecedented and it's both, uh, and really exciting. 
These days, all eyes are on Hamilton, because it's like nothing ever seen before on Broadway. I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing it. If you listen closely, these rap bars can walk you through a few pages in your history book. First time I'm thinking past tomorrow. It's taking an old story, uh, an important story, you know, about our founding fathers and making it so relatable. A way to combine arts with education. And it comes just as many art programs are being cut from schools around the country because of funding problems. Instead, the money is used for programs like math, science, and even sports. But studies show that art and music can actually help students perform better in other subjects. I think the public school system has neglected um, the arts a little bit. Anthony Ramos, one of the stars of Hamilton, went to public school in New York City way before he made his way to Broadway. I think it's important, especially for students, to see shows. And, you know, just like they go see, you know, a concert for their favorite artists, I think it, it, it is equally as important for students to come to Broadway. Great Britain's eyes, we are not equal. Already had a war, but it's about to be a sequel. Students attending Hamilton not only watched the play for only $10 a piece, but got to perform their own Hamilton-inspired skits, followed by a Q&A with the cast, who was very excited about their special audience. You have no idea how long we've been waiting to see you. This show's about to be dope. This is the first of many of these types of performances, with the hopes of eventually expanding across the U.S. Hopefully, I, it gives young students a reason to engage a little bit more in American history. I could have used something like that probably at the time. Everything that happens in this play, I learned for the first time doing this play. Uh, and I'm in my 30s, so, you know, <laughs> um, these are all things that were certainly taught when I was in high school, but I didn't pay any attention because I wasn't interested. These students walked away with a personal perspective of American history, one that the books couldn't deliver. It's so different than what you really read and what your teacher teaches you. And the inspiration to create something more. Anything's possible, and if we're exposed to this, we have a greater chance of being the next Hamilton or the next Miranda. And in a lot of public schools, we aren't given that chance. I hope we see it in some of the future playwrights and artists who are young now um, and who have yet to sort of get their shot. I hope those are the ones who sort of cite Hamilton as a moment that changed something for them, that allowed them to realize that maybe there was a place on Broadway for them. Arielle Hickson, Channel One News. Now look at birthdays from today. Well, that's it for Tatum Review. Keep looking up because, because that's, that's where, where it all is. is.